If you or your patients are having gut health issues, it might be because of a bacteria known as H. pylori. So let's talk about it and how to treat it naturally. I'm Julianne. I'm a nurse practitioner, functional medicine provider, and gut health expert. So what is H. pylori? This is a bacteria also known as Helicobacter pylori. It resides in the digestive tract of over two-thirds of the world's population. Now, why should you even care about this and what might be the health impact for you? For some individuals, this bacteria can cause serious issues like gastritis, peptic ulcers, and an increased risk of stomach cancer. This bacteria is also known to produce an enzyme called urease. This enzyme neutralizes stomach acid. Now, why is that even important? Stomach acid is one of our first lines of defense against pathogens that we come in contact with. It is also an essential component to digestion. When we don't have enough stomach acid, a term known as hypochlorhydria, we don't digest our food properly and therefore we don't absorb nutrients. This can lead to nutrient deficiencies. Long-term H. pylori infections can lead to changes in the stomach lining, including loss of normal stomach cells and the development of atrophy, which is thinning of the stomach lining. It can cause genetic and epigenetic changes in the stomach cells that can ultimately lead to cancer. Let's review the symptoms of H. pylori. Abdominal pain or stomach pain, gas and bloating, loss of appetite and nausea or vomiting excessive belching, heartburn, reflux, gastroesophageal reflux disease, unintentional weight loss, anxiety, mood swings, depression, bloody or black stools due to bleeding ulcers, and fatigue. If you're wondering whether or not you have H. pylori, be sure to go back and watch our video on how to test for H. pylori. Now, in terms of treatment, Let's review some things that can be done to naturally treat H. pylori. First of all, nutrition. Now, there's no universally suggested diet for the eradication of H. pylori. Generally, we want to consume a well-balanced whole food diet to prevent nutritional deficiencies that are commonly associated with H. pylori. Nutrients to emphasize in the diet for those people with H. pylori include vitamins like B12, vitamin C, vitamin E, and iron. Supplementation can be very helpful for patients with H. pylori. Some of the most common supplements used to eradicate this pathogen are things like mastic gum, berberine, olive leaf extract, Saccharomyces boulardii, DGL, and golden seal. A few other things that you'll want to consider if you have H. pylori is making sure that you have good dental hygiene because the mouth can be a reservoir. Now, H. pylori is primarily transmitted through saliva, feces, and vaginal secretions. Consider treating family members as, again, it is highly contagious. Assess the need for digestive enzymes, if there is a suspected maldigestive pattern, and also hydrochloric acid can be helpful. As we mentioned, this particular pathogen typically causes hypochlorhydria. Now, if you want more videos on root cause medicine, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel.